every individual wants to make more money in recruiting industry it could be a recruiter it could be a bench sales uh, recruiter everybody wants to make more placements and uh, when it comes there is no proper submissions no proper updates from each of the parties or no placement happens then they think that what is that is lacking i might need to upgrade myself i might need to learn some skills now in this turmoil of confusion what should i be doing in order for me to make more placement in order for me to make more commission and to mitigate the pressure from the management that they always ask about the submission weekly targets and placements and margin right within that confusion a recruiter always think that it is everything to do with the skill something i don't know now here is the truth it could be you are into bench sales you could be into recruiting you work in the day shift you work in the night shift and you work in any industry now what is that you should be working is on a trust factor that is what currently missing in this industry trust factor if you look at recruiters point of view and consider that you are working as a bench sales recruiter you definitely know what recruiter would be thinking if you do not know then let me tell you recruiters think that this candidate whatever been supplied by the bench sales recruiters could be fake could be morphed the document could be changed the candidate may not join at the end the bench sales recruiter might ask more money so many confusions so many things are there and sometimes they know that if i submit this candidate the bench sales recruiter may bypass the candidate and directly go with our contact right i'm just telling the major truths what's currently prevailing in this industry and you can add a few more to that according to your experience now if we think from the bench sales point of view they have the trust factor that they may bypass my candidate recruiter do not answer to my calls they might want to work with somebody else recruiter never respond recruiter only work with uh, uh, w2 candidate so on and so forth i mean bench sales have their own way of uh, thinking that why they are not successful in this industry now if you see in the both the ways there is a trust factor is missing that if the recruiter think if the hiring party thinks that whoever the supplier that we are working with they are trustworthy and whoever the recruiter that i'm working with this person can be trusted enough that i can blindly go and present the profile to the client so that i'm safe now the moment it doesn't happen that's where the problem is now we as a recruiter need to build that particular uh, scenario we need to build that particular experience in the candidate's experience at the same time the client experience people now it is totally up to you what are the things what are the changes what are the processes you want to add into your day to day work so that you build the trust factor that's what the secret in this particular industry to become successful you might do any way of creating your resumes this is particularly for bench sales you do any sort of training to your candidates you may want to do anything majorly it comes in the trust factor so whatever you are going to show that is plays less role but the trust factor between why we should work with you and this is why you can trust me if you could able to build that trust within that party and yourself then you will definitely will be able to see yourself successful the same goes with recruiter there are so much of uh, bad noise going on in the market that recruiters are not trustworthy recruiters are spammers recruiters never respond recruiters are fake recruiters take our information and they were never come back you see now as a recruiter you need to build your trust factor you need to build that trust between you and the candidates that could be you work on corp to corp you work on w2 or anything that you are working from any part of the world if there is no trust then there is no loyalty between both the parties if there is no loyalty then definitely it is not going to be successful trade altogether we will be working for our selfish expectation and that person will be working for their selfish selfish expectation now at the end both party may lose or maybe one party may win but next time we may not go and work each other with each other right but this is something that everybody needs everybody we need recruiters we need candidates candidates need recruiter candidates need bench sales so that's how it works so how we are going to work together it needs to be a cooperative industry it needs to be a cooperative more of working with each other
it should not be like a one time deal and it's done so think of your process think of your way of working how you are dealing with if you are not going to work you are not going to do something different in your approaches in your presentations in your communication and how you present yourself which boosts the trust factor in others you know feeling and experience then it's very much difficult that you will be successful now this is what i wanted to say and uh, if you have anything to add do comment and let me know what do you feel thank you so very much this is suman pachigala on a mission to impact 5 million lives through you bye bye